Hello and welcome to The Look Ahead for Friday the 17th of May with me Fiona Sincosa, Senior Market Analyst at City Index. So overnight we'll be watching out from figures from China, specifically industrial production and retail sales will be in focus. As the European session kicks off Eurozone inflation, this is the secondary reading rather than the preliminary, so it tends to be less market moving. Also tomorrow we've got the Baker Hughes rig count and Fed speakers Kashkari, Kashkari, Walla and Daly are due to speak as far as earnings are concerned, land securities in London will be in focus. So yeah, just as far as Chinese data is concerned, I mean, we've been starting to get this sense that the Chinese economic recovery is really starting to, to take hold. Uh, expectations are for retail sales to rise 3.7% up from 3.1%. Industrial production is also expected to increase by 5.5% up from 4.5%. So the market's going to be looking for signs of the um, the recovery coming through in China. One to be watching whilst we're looking at the data coming through will be oil. Obviously, we've got Chinese data, um, China being the largest oil importer in the world. And also, we've got the Baker Hughes rig count data coming through as well. Now, this is the oil chart. We can see uh, that actually oil is trading around its lowest levels since March. Um, on a combination of factors, but there has been sort of those concerns over um, higher interest rates for longer in the US. Now, obviously, we had that cooler than expected um, inflation data through which um, which actually supports the view that the Fed could cut rates at some point. Although, you know, there are still concerns that maybe that's not necessarily the case soon. So still very much uh, wait and see for more evidence of falling inflation in the US. But as I said, China, if we do start to see that recovery taking hold, that could be bullish for oil prices, which are currently testing that uh, rising trend line support, which dates back to the end of 2023. Now, we see we did have a spike down below that um, rising trend line, just briefly um, falling to a low of 77.75. It did spike back up, back above that rising trend line. So now we're sort of caught between the rising trend line and the 200 SMA on the upside. Now, if that trend line does manage to hold, then the 200 SMA um, around the $80 a barrel level will become a focus. That's also a psychological level to keep in mind. Um, then above there, we'd be looking at 8180, which is the 50 SMA above ahead of 8320. Um, now, if you if that trend line doesn't hold, if we get weaker data from China, then we could see that trend line taken out. And that would mean that we could look, be looking at a retest of 7775 um, and if we do get a break below there, then that could actually mean some deeper losses to come towards the 75, 75 level. Now, that was a level that was important in mid-February. Uh, also, just with regards to China data, we look at the FTSE here. Um, the FTSE, obviously, it's got plenty of heavyweight resource stocks um, on its uh, in the index, and so it can be moved again by China data. So, um, as far as the FTSE is concerned, we've seen that really strong rally higher across the last two weeks. Um, now we've hit obviously at an all time high just recently. As far as levels to be watching, we're trading at the moment at 84.40. Uh, that's uh, we've got a doji candle there, which sort of sig signifies a little bit of indecision. Buyers are going to be looking to take out the uh, the current high and look towards 8,500. But watch out for that overbought level on the RSI. That could actually favour um, a pullback for the time being. So that would be looking for a break below 8,400, uh, which is today's low. Um, and that could open the door to a deeper pullback. But I mean, you know, there's a little bit of support maybe around the 8300, which is the um, round number. But actually, there's not too much until 8200, which is that high that we saw there mid-April. Um, so just finally looking at euro US dollar, not much going on as far as data from the US is concerned tomorrow. We do have several Fed speakers and it'll be really interesting to get their take after the inflation data. Obviously, we had New York Fed uh, President John Williams talk about um, how actually, despite the fact that inflation is cooling, they still need to see more evidence 
that inflation will cool further. And um, so will we get a similar message from other Fed speakers? We know that Neil Kashkari is actually typically more hawkish. So he's raised doubts over the Fed's ability to cut interest rates this year. But that was before the inflation data. Eurozone inflation is expected to show that it cooled uh, in line with the preliminary reading to 24.4%. So this is, you know, the ECB is on track really to start cutting rates in uh, June, barring any surprises. Um, but we have seen the euro manage to recover despite the fact the ECB is expected to cut rates before the Fed. And that's basically because of this recovery that we're seeing taking hold in the eurozone economy uh, or the signs of a recovery, at least, which is helping support the euro. As far as levels to watch, we're testing 109 at the moment. A rise above 109 it could bring the 109.80 March high into focus. On the downside, failure to get above that 109 level brings the 108.25, which is confluence of the falling trend line and the um, 100 SMA into focus. Below there, you've got the 200 SMA at 107.85. So I hope that you liked what you've been watching. And if you do, please do give this video a like. And if you'd like to receive more videos like this, then please do subscribe.